Okay, welcome today to today's lesson on how to play singles, uh, part one. Um, today we're going to discuss uh, the rules of singles and uh, the court positions and where you line up on, on the court. Uh, generally when you're playing singles, okay, you have two players and uh, you have a server, we'll call the first person who starts the point the server and the person who uh, hits the second shot the re receiver. Okay, but before we start this, I would ask that you see my video on how to score in a tennis game, okay? So you're a little bit more familiar with uh, the rules of scoring. Uh, I think knowing how to score and then uh, knowing how to, uh, where to stand and how to play uh, singles, okay, will help uh, make it, the whole thing make sense to you, okay? But the first thing you have to do is, so what I'll do is I'll give you a summary, if you haven't seen that video yet, of um, how to score in tennis, okay? A brief summary, okay? There are a minimum of four points in tennis to win a game. They're called 15, 30, 40, and the fourth point is called game. Before you start a game, the score is 0, 0, and that in tennis is called love. So for instance, if the score was 1 to nothing, it would be 15, love. If it was 2 to nothing, it's 30, love. If it was, was 3 to nothing, it's 40, love. And if it was 4 to nothing, it would be called game. And then the server would switch places with the receiver, and the receiver would become the server, and the server would become the receiver. If, however, you get to three points all, you played a total of six points, okay, you now are what's called at deuce. And at deuce, you need to win two points in a row to uh, win a game, okay? They're called advantages. So, four points in a game, 15, 30, 40 game, a minimum. If you get to three points all, the score is called deuce, and you must win two points in a row from deuce, a little mini tiebreaker, in order to win a game. Okay, having said that, uh, when the two players want to start playing singles, what they have to do is uh, determine who is to serve first. And generally, what uh, it, you can do that by uh, picking up a racket, and uh, uh, the rackets, like for instance, this is a prince racket, okay? And on the end of the racket, it'll have a P, and if you turn it over, it'll have a D, okay? And one person spins the racket while the other one calls out the letter, and whoever wins gets to decide uh, whether or not they want to serve first or pick the end that they want to be on or receive first, okay? So, once you determine who the server is going to be, the next thing you want to do is determine how you start and set up, play the first point. And that's done by the server going over to the right side of the center of the court where this little marker is, the service marker, and he serves the ball from his right side to the receiver's right side and into this block. So you'd serve cross court diagonally into this service block, okay? And the receiver would stand halfway approximately between the middle of the court and the doubles line, so he would stand somewhere about here, okay? And if you have a uh, beginner serves, he might stand inside this area, and more advanced serves, he might stand outside what's called the baseline, okay? So, starting the point, the server stands about two or three feet to the uh, right of, of the uh, uh, service marker, and he serves the ball over to the uh, service block diagonally across the net over here, and the receiver stands to his right about halfway over between the doubles line. And Okay, now when you uh, have a good serves, okay, let me just say that uh, you have two serves to start a point. You get two chances to start a point, a first serve and a second serve, and let's see what can happen with those uh, chances, okay? A good serve. The person serves the ball, and it goes over the net, and it goes into the block. Okay, that's a good serve. It bounces. The uh, receiver hits the ball back, and the point is played out. What this is called is a rally. When the ball bounces back and forth, and it's hit across the net, it's called a rally. And the rally keeps going until uh, a few things happen. If the ball hits the net, somebody loses the point. If the ball bounces twice before you hit it, somebody loses the point. If the ball goes into the alley, somebody loses a point, and if the ball goes outside, lands outside the area, uh, somebody loses a point. So, a good serve. When you serve into the block to start the game, the ball goes back and forth in what's called a rally, and if it hits, when it hits the net, or it bounces twice, or it goes into, bounces in the alley, or outside, a point is lost, okay? Uh, a bad serve is when the serve is served, and it hits the net, and it falls back, okay? That is called a fault. You get two chances, as I said, to start a point. If on the first serve you hit the net and it falls back, it's called a fault, and you get down to your second serve. 
serve the second ball in, and as I say, the rally begins. Uh, now, what another thing that you can have is what's called a let, and a let can be either good or bad. A let is when a serve hits the net and continues, and it either goes, lands into the service block that you want it to go into, or it lands outside of the service block. If it lands in the service block after it hits the net, it's a good let, and what you do is replay the serve that you're on. If it was your first serve, you replay your first serve. If you were on your second serve, uh, having faulted on your first serve, you would now repeat your second serve. And you have uh, a good let, it goes, hits the net, falls into the uh, box, and you hit it back and it's replayed, okay? A bad let would be the, the ball, the serve goes into the net, and continues over and it lands into the alley or outside the service block, okay, and that would be considered a fault. And remember, two bad serves or two faults are called a double fault, and the server would be charged, he would lose one point. Another thing a server can do is hit the serve into the bo box, which is a good serve, and it goes by the receiver without him hitting it, making contact with it, and the server would win that point, it would be called an ace. Okay, so. We now have rally, which is hitting back and forth. We have a fault, which is when the ball hits the net and falls back, or it hits and doesn't go into the service block. And we have a let, which is called hitting the net and either going into the service block or missing the service block. And we have an ace, where you serve the ball by the um, um, receiver and get a point. Okay, what, what loses a point would be a double fault. The ball hits the net bounces twice, it hits the alley, or it lands outside the court. If the ball hits the net and it continues on into the court during the rally, it's, continue, it's considered good and you continue playing it. Okay. If the ball goes over the net and it lands on a line, either the sidelines, the singles lines, or the baseline, or the service lines, it's considered good and it's continued to be played. Okay. So, the second point you would move over from the right side to the left side of the service marker and the uh, receiver would work, move over to the left side of the uh, uh, court and about halfway between the center of the court and the doubles line, okay? And he, you would serve the second point over into this block. Then the rally, someone wins or loses a point. Then the third point you would move over here and go over here. Now let's look and, and give you an idea of how uh, you would determine uh, what the score is in case you lose score. As I said, you start the game over here on the right score and the score is 0-0, which is an even score. So this is the even service block. After one score, after the second point, when one point has been played, okay, that's an odd number. One plus zero is an odd number. So you'd be serving over here. So this is the odd service block, okay? So, if the score was 1 to 1 and you forgot which side, okay, you just add them up, and 1 to 1 is, is, is 2, you would now be serving, you know, you'd be serving the next point to the deuce. If the score was 3 to 1, uh, which is 40-15, okay, 3 to 1 equals 4, it's an even score, so again, you'd be serving on the right side to the even court. If it was uh, 3 to 2, you have a total of 3 plus 2 is 5 points, so you'd be over serving over on your left and you'd be serving to the ad block. As I mentioned before, um, in summary, uh, the score when it gets to three all is called deuce, and three plus three is six. Therefore, you'd be serving on the even court, and that's where the, this court gets its name, okay? It's nicknamed the deuce court, and it's called the deuce service block because all points that are played at deuce are played as if they were at the starting point. They're played on the even court. This is the deuce court. If the score was four to three, okay, it's somebody's add, somebody's leading and has an advantage, okay? And you would be, four plus three is seven, so that you now have a odd score. So you would have to be playing on the odd court, and that's where this court gets its nickname, the add court, because all points that go to add in tennis are on serve from this side to this side. So. If you know it's an add and you're not sure where to go, you have to be on this side. If you know the score is an even score, you know the next point has to be played on this side. And that basically summarizes the uh, uh, court position on part one on the how to play the game of singles.